my goodness, we've already started one episode of the new season, but what can you tease is in store for All American and with JJ this season? Oh, it's an exciting one. Um, um, I feel like this season is the first season where uh, there's consequences, like like big, heavy consequences for our actions. This is the first season where it kind of feels like we are adults, whereas the previous four, we've kind of been kids uh, living in this uh, world where the consequences, if any, are very minor um, and, and almost they get alleviated uh, as soon as you roll into the next episode. Um, things get a bit stickier this season and, um, um, things carry over. And I think it's cool and very true to life in a sense that, um, things just can't be swept under the rug when you become an adult. Um, and we're kind of seeing these characters grow up, grow up right before our eyes. And, uh, it's going to be really cool and exciting to see things unfold and not just disappear as we move through the episodes, but kind of linger. Um, and and you're going to have to see these characters, uh, face these, these adult, um, um, circumstances. My goodness, uh, there's a lot to come, and we know a little bit about JJ, but are we able to expect maybe some more backstory from him this season? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I feel like this season you're going to see JJ Parker um, spread his wings and fly. Let me rephrase. I think this season you're going to see JJ Parker attempt to fly by spreading his wings. <laughs> um, uh, and and I, I went with the rephrase there because, you know, anytime you try something for the first time, you, you kind of got to work it out. You kind of got to, um, um, you know, be present enough to be able to audible and evolve and change with the situation. And JJ's never really had to do that before. Um, he's just been able to kind of sleep it off if you will, regardless of what he got into next day, new day, new opportunities, JJ's on the roll. Um, this season, you're going to see um, him lean into uh, trying to stand 10 toes and, and, and trying to, to be the man that he so desires to be. And, and, and he seeks respect and love from others. And you're going to see him try and navigate that and, and earn that now. Uh, with all that said, I do think we're going to see um, him struggle. And I think we're going to see him um, perhaps take some missteps, uh, just as we all do as we're trying to uh, figure out who we are and where we stand. But I tell you what, it's been an absolute joy to play him this season. Uh, We're currently shooting episode six. Um, So uh, we're a bit ahead of you guys uh, watching. I know uh, one is out, but that's where you guys are. Two, which comes out Monday, 8P7C on the CW. It just gets better and better for JJ. I promise you that. With that uh, spreading your wings metaphor in mind, will there be a romantic exploration for him this season, maybe? I I still think the jury's out. I, I, I think that... Um, there is no exploration that JJ will shy away from. Uh, so, um, whether it's love, whether it's football, whether it's partying, uh, JJ is really about it. And, and it's cool because I think at those years in your life, you are so curious and you do really need to see if the grass is actually greener on the other side. And, uh, uh, again, in episode two, honestly, which you don't have to wait too long, you're really going to see, um, a different side of JJ, perhaps um, one that that is very uh, decisive, and and he truly feels like like he is uh, he's doing some things right. And um, I don't know if you saw the 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 teaser, uh, uh, but I put, I even posted yesterday. Um, it's me, all eyes on me, JJ Parker, <laughs> and uh, uh, my frat brothers and, and and people around me at a party and a giant keg in front of me. Now, what I do with that keg, what goes down, we shall see. Uh, but again, I, I think it is JJ seeking that affirmation from those around him that that they love him and respect him. And I think he always resorts back to partying because that is when he feels like he is the center of attention. That is when he feels like people care about him and aren't laughing at him, but are laughing with him. It's a form of escapism, too, to get away from all the heaviness in his real life. Yeah, yeah. 
is that also then what keeps challenging you about him is kind of being on he's always on the whole time and um you know he seeks maybe some more dangerous or at least <laughs> challenging outlets for putting all of that away yeah yeah you know i've i've never discovered uh, about jj what i just said or i should say i never verbalized it uh, but it really is him chasing this pe- he wants people to laugh with him not at him Oh, that's just so good. I've actually never said that. So thank you so much, Jamie, for 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 uh, allowing me to arrive at that because um, Lord knows I'll I'll use that in many interviews to come because that really <laughs> is that really is uh, the root of this guy. And um, I, again, I think we're going to see him in his own way uh, try and figure out how he can uh, can win people's attention and love because when he's himself. Uh, he he gets laughed at and and he gets made to feel like he is less than and not not as smart as and um 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 I think that hurts him uh I really do and so I think it's cool that there are so many layers uh even if you guys don't see it because perhaps our little time slot uh that night doesn't allow for you only as get much so many minutes to, like to explore to yes it's still up to me as the actor uh to 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 work on all that backstory so it's it's in there whether you you have time to see it in episode two or maybe see it season six episode seven I, I don't know when it shows if it ever shows but that's not up to me what's up to me is making sure that i take care of jj parker i know his backstory yes. i know the pain i know what makes him laugh i know what he really wants um and then i just put that into the 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 lines that they give me um which you know again all i can do is is, is all that work so it's in there whether it's revealed in a grand way or whether it's hidden behind something uh, subtle yeah 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 yeah. well reading the scripts you've had so far were you surprised or excited that you were going to share scenes with someone or someone's uh, more this season than maybe you've worked with them before Oh, that's a great question. I know something that nobody knows, and I cannot say it. And it is just, it is one of the reasons why I think this um, is undoubtedly the best season of All American that we've ever done, and maybe that we'll ever do. And that's a bold statement, uh, because one was, they've all been fire. Uh, One was very sentimental, as now we look back, and it was kind of the start of all of our, all of our careers. Um, of course, whenever this amazing series comes to an end, that will be a season that we all really uh, uh, appreciate uh, as we, you know, turn the page into new chapters of life. Um, but yeah, there's um, there's there's things this season that that just are are massive. And that's I gotta leave it there. I gotta quite a teaser, there. quite a teaser. <laughs> yeah. What does it mean to you to be at the forefront of such a popular and really well received series that you continue to get to work on it for so many seasons now? Ah, man, what a blessing, honestly. Um, uh, truly it's so humbling. I think when you're when you're in the moment, when you're in the middle of something, it's hard to to really appreciate everything. You know, I always say it's hard to see the picture when you're standing inside the frame. And in this situation, uh, I feel like I'm very much in the frame. Um, uh, but I do try and be as present as I can and appreciate uh, the moments and the days. Uh, it's funny. Every day I show up to work, um, I, sh- I take a picture of my trailer and it just says JJ. Um, and then I do it with a filter that has the date um, and a little like timestamp on it. Um, and it's just a reminder to me of how lucky I am to be at Warner Brothers shooting a hit TV show. And uh, that's the energy that I carry throughout uh, the rest of the day. Um, so whether, you know, it's crew, a PA, another castmate, uh, a, a, an executive producer that crosses my path that day, I'm meeting with love and and a true, uh, genuine um, um, amount of gratitude uh, to be there. And uh, but I tell you what, it's not every day you you are able to tell a story for four or five or six seasons. So um yeah, so uh, uh, I I just uh, am so grateful that I've been able to grow so much 
as Hunter Cloudus through JJ Parker. And that's been something that that was super special to me that I didn't realize because any character that I played prior to this project uh, has been a movie that you do for, you know, a couple months um, or or some some guest star stuff. You don't really get to live as that character for years. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, and yeah, I, I've learned so much um, in my own life through studying this character that I get to play on TV and uh, it's it's altered my life in a positive way forever. And I, I'm just so grateful. Well, it sounds like it's not so difficult to shake off a long day of filming at this point <laughs> for you because you work with people who are basically friends now, family, friends you know, at this point. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like despite long days on a football field in a uniform or, you know, <laughs> The scenes where you're supposed to be really challenged emotionally it's not that difficult for you anymore is that still the case or do you find it easier to put JJ away for a little bit and be Hunter again yeah yeah great question um I mean a 14 hour day is still a 14 hour day <laughs> so uh they do add up shout out everyone on the crew for pulling insane hours so we can have quick turnarounds um and get this show out to you guys in a timely manner um um you know some shows literally take their turnaround time is crazy you know they'll push things uh nearly a year um so shout out all the hardworking people over there uh getting it out to you guys just about as quick as we can make it um yeah I, I i live very synonymously with this guy now and um i don't have to necessarily go to work and and put on this crazy mask to to become him um and we're so much more similar than we are different um i would say the main difference is uh, i've never smoked or drank anything in my entire life um ever so to play a kid that is partying and drinking uh that was a stretch but again um i was always on a sports field um or 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 creating something uh for you know a social media platform so i was always creating and and you know kind of being uh the man in the arena jj's the same way um but instead of streaming on twitch he's going to go to a frat party uh but it's still the same like Look at me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the star of the show. Um, so the similarities are, are just uh, almost hand in hand. So I don't really have to shake anything off. Unfortunately, JJ uh, lives above uh, the energy of life. I mean, he is, he is up there. <laughs> He's so, on um, a, a ten constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so no, it, it's really nice that I don't have to uh, come home from work uh, emotionally exhausted. You are a part of social media. Why is that such an important way for you to connect with your fans? And also, how is it such a great creative outlet for you personally? Wonderful question. Yeah, uh, personally, I think is the key. Uh, for a while now, I've been saying seek affirmations from your actions, um, um, not your affirmations. Uh, and again, I think that's a more doubling down on the process opposed to the prize. I think it's real easy to get caught up and um you know how many cheerleaders you got uh but it's really uh the the, the people that are with me on the field that that sometimes do uh, uh lose uh sometimes we do win sometimes we do go through the trials and tribulations of life that's really where i've doubled down and and put all my energy effort and focus it's in the community it's in it's in the family and friends that i have around me um i i i don't really love the word fan um, and I even shy away from followers. Uh, I want friends. And I think you get that through being genuine, through being yourself, uh, through showing your heart. I think there's 8 billion people in the world. Uh, and I think you can stay true to you. And just by numbers sake, you will find a handful that think like you, that, that, that enjoy and appreciate the same things you do. And I think sometimes we get too lost, uh, trying to fit in when we were meant and born to stand out. Uh, and I think when we lean into our own uniqueness, that's when we really find the community. That's when we really find the friends. That's when we really find the partners that we want to do this thing called life with. Um, so that's what I've really tried to do. That's what I've shifted all my social towards. It's just being my authentic self, not doing anything for the show or the numbers, but just for my name. As you can see, perfectly placed. Uh, that thing, I put a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears into that thing. It means everything to me. I carry it with me everywhere I go, and I take a lot of pride in it. So, yeah. 
Well, you're doing it proud. It's so amazing to see you play this incredible character on our screen. Have you been busy working on anything else outside of All American these days or anything you were doing um, during the pandemic that's just coming out here shortly? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think professionally, um, which is such a loose term, um, th the the focus is still on putting out the best show we possibly can. Uh, uh, staying true to these characters and true to, true to these storylines is just imperative uh, uh, that we do that. And um, but personally, if you will. Uh, streaming on Twitch. I tell you what, twitch.tv forward slash Cloudus is where you can find me. I've been pulling 60 to 90 hours a month. Um, it's, it's where I live stream. I've got an incredible community over there and we absolutely turn up. Uh, like uh, sometimes we play video games. Sometimes we do this and we talk about life and we talk about lessons and we talk about things that we're passionate about and goals and dreams. Um, sometimes I'm playing, uh, you know, like a race car game. Um, sometimes I'm playing like a, a shooter game or something. Um, but it's just so special to have that one-to-one -one interaction. Uh, and I think it's so cool to remove the filters that are uh, social media posts and be live because when you're live, the truth comes out. Um, and, and it's so cool. And, and dare I say such a flex, uh, that, that I am able to get on there for three to five or four to six hours and, and put on a show. Um, and again, I got to give a shout out to the community that is there that I have built. Uh, they really keep the energy up, the vibes up. They're always typing in chat, um, and, you know, gassing me up, you know, we'll do like W's in chat, which is like, when like W's in chat, uh, if I like get a kill on a game or if someone gifts subs, it's like a whole community. It's like a whole vibe and, and the energy is just so electric. I I'm literally streaming today. I look forward to it like every day. And uh, it's crazy that I could go work 10, 12, 14 hours on set and still want to come home and be live. And I think that's a testament to the community. That's also your outlet, too. I mean, you've worked a lot of day and that's how you get out a work day. That's how you chill. And whether it's Twitch or whether it's working out or whether it's, you know, Instagram Live, whatever it is, you need to have an outlet. And this is such a great way for you to hand do both of those things have an outlet but still show off who you are as a person and i think that's what your fans community hey, <laughs> let's tend go, to Jamie. appreciate let's go jamie <laughs> oh my gosh i adore you so much just you catching that lets me know that you were present with me in this and that is everything oh jay i give you a hug if i could i give you a hug if i could that was amazing thank you, thank you. you thank you for that really thank you for that what would you like to say then to everyone who really supports you and really appreciates whether it's watching you on our screen for the series or whether it's that you connect, you spend the time, your personal time to connect with them. What does that mean to you? What would you like to say to them? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for the question and thank you to them. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've just always felt that the best way to lead is by example. And, um, I think it's one thing to tell someone that, uh, to go for your dreams and you can do anything. And I, I think it's, it, it's, it hits different when it's coming from someone who, who went out and, and did it and then told you, and then told you that you could do it. Um, so that's always driven me a lot. I've, I've always wanted to literally be the man in the arena and I've always wanted to speak from experience and I've always been, uh, uh, I've always not shied away from, uh, taking an L and, and looking stupid, um, and, and messing up. I that's really the highs lean... and lows. when you show the lows too, that's what people feel authentically connected with too. You're no one's ever going to be succeeding every single day of their life so to have that reality i think is also great too where you as you mentioned you know the no filter aspect of it yeah yeah and and really it's in those l's if you will that that you learn and that you actually grow and you actually level up even more so your wins can be even bigger i think when you play it safe it can feel like you're winning but but if you're just winning you know we'll use a monetary example pennies every day what are you really able to do um whereas if you shot a little higher 
um, your 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 wins could be bigger and more impactful. Um, and 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 lastly, something that I've always tried to do is every new level of life, I've always tried to look around me and lend a helping hand to those who were in need. And I think one of the the, the coolest things about being on a platform where you do have reach is the fact that you do have reach. And I feel like taking advantage of that in a positive way is one of the most beautiful things that we can do as human beings. It's helping, it's teaching, it's enlightening, it's empowering, it's informing, it's inspiring those around us. Um, if I continue to do that for the rest of my life, then I'll be able to rest in peace one day.